So Arena Breakout Infinite Early Access is out, and already we're knee-deep in another significant controversy. Considering many of you found this channel through our Arena Breakout Infinite vs. Tarkov comparison and analysis videos, I feel like I need to address exactly what's going on right now, albeit a little bit late to the party. By now, everybody's heard the buzz, creators and players are all calling Arena Breakout pay to win, despite the developers previously stating that they wouldn't institute pay to win mechanics. So who's right? Is it pay to win? Did they lie? And does it matter to us as players? To tackle these questions, we first need to agree on what pay to win actually means. I think a lot of the debate stems from different interpretations of the term, so let's try to clarify that up front. At its core, pay to win refers to a game mechanic where players can gain significant advantages by spending real money. This isn't about buying cosmetic items or emotes or dances or any of that. It's about making purchases that directly impact your gameplay performance. This is an objective definition, and if you can't accept this, then you're probably not going to be able to be objective on this topic at all. In a pay-to-win system, players can purchase items, boosts, or other in-game benefits that give them an edge over those who haven't spent that money. These advantages will typically come from items like powerful equipment, items that make your character stronger, better defended, or more capable than non-paying players could achieve in the same amount of time. Opportunities to level up faster, unlock abilities sooner, or bypass challenges that would otherwise require time and effort to overcome in the form of progression boosts, or you know, some kind of exclusive access where you get content or abilities that aren't available to non-paying customers, creating a divide between between those who spend money and those who don't. So let's apply all of that to Arena Breakout Infinite. This game allows players to purchase in-game currency with real money, which can then be used to buy better gear and equipment. Additionally, larger secure containers are essentially a safe space where you can store items even if you die. Those are also available for purchase. These mechanics give players a direct advantage over those who play for free. With more powerful gear and the ability to secure more valuable loot, paying players can significantly significantly tilt the balance of power in their favor. This isn't about saving time or unlocking content faster, it's about tangible in-game advantage that non-paying customers can't easily match. When you can buy better gear or secure your loot with real money, it fundamentally changes the competitive landscape of the game. Now, I know a few of you ABI players are going to come out of the woodwork and claim it isn't pay to win, and you're going to use the same argument I've heard a dozen times in the comments on our other videos, which is usually something along the lines of, well, a skilled player without gear will always beat a pay to win player who is bad. The problem with this argument is that in general, you're right, so it seems good to you, but this doesn't matter because you're completely forgetting about the fact that many skilled players also pay for this edge. I would ask you this, if you take two players of equal skill levels and then put them in a 1v1 where one guy has gear and the other guy doesn't, can you honestly say that the guy without the gear has an advantage? And if you said yes, you're just not objective. I don't know what else to tell you here. It is a clear and distinct advantage, especially with the mechanics in this game. Helmets are huge. So, is Arena Breakout Infinite pay to win? In my opinion, by the definition we've laid out, yes, it 100% is. And honestly, I don't even think it's an opinion. I don't think this is an arguable topic. If I'm being honest, so is Escape from Tarkov, but to a significantly lesser degree. The ability to purchase in-game currency directly impacts the gameplay, giving the players that do this a significant edge. But even if you're talking about larger secure containers and more inventory space like you get in Tarkov as well, it does have a direct impact on your gameplay. Extra secure slots quite literally equals more money per raid, whether that means you're saving it from not losing the things in your secure container or you're earning it by securing valuable items you find in the raid, it still equals more money. More money equals better equipment. More storage equals less time spent sorting and liquidating, and it enhances your ability to retain items that you're going to know you need in the future without impacting your ability to store the items you need right now. If you've ever played on a standard account versus 
is an EOD account, you know exactly what I'm talking about and you're not going to argue. These are advantages whether you want to admit it or not, and real money purchased them. So whether or not that should be a deal breaker for you is something we'll talk about in a minute, but it's really important to call it what it is. Okay, so we've established that Arena Breakout is undeniably pay to win. Do we care? That really depends on your perspective as a gamer. There are countless different kinds of gamers out there, and a lot of us forget about that from time to time. Not all of them are looking for the same experience. Some people have more money than time, and for them, being able to buy their way to better gear or faster progress isn't just acceptable, it's preferable. They're not necessarily looking to grind for hours, they want to enjoy the game in the way that fits their lifestyle, and there's nothing inherently wrong with that. It is also important to remember that pay to win is obviously an effective business model, otherwise it wouldn't be used as widely as it is. These games are designed to make money, and catering to players who are willing to spend it is one way to keep the game profitable and in many cases, to keep the game free for the other players who don't want to spend a dime on it. So if you're one of those gamers that likes to trash pay to win and you also complain about games being too expensive or features being too expensive or DLC being too expensive, you might be experiencing what we refer to as cognitive dissonance. If pay-to-win mechanics rub you the wrong way, that's valid as long as you're keeping these things in mind and you're free to avoid those games. There are plenty of titles out there that stick to a more traditional model where your success is based purely on skill and time invested. But if you find yourself frustrated by a game's pay-to-win elements, it might be worth considering if that particular game is right for you. At the end of the day, gaming should be about having fun, and if a game's business model is a deal breaker for you, there is absolutely no shame in moving on to something that better fits your preferences. So do we care that Arena Breakout is pay to win? No, I, I don't personally care. I do, however, care when a developer is dishonest with its patrons. So did more fun games lie to us? If you take a brief look at Twitter and your YouTube feed, the general consensus is definitely that they somehow promised there would be absolutely no pay to win elements because that's what everybody seems to be regurgitating right now. However, when we take a look at exactly what was said, rather than just assuming all these articles and YouTube videos are right, it gets a little murky. Here's the direct quote from the landmark interview with the more fun developer when responding to a question about whether the game will have pay to win mechanics. Quote, it is crucial to emphasize that these paid features have no impact on gameplay or the fairness of the game. While there are paid content options in the game, we understand concerns regarding pay to win models. However, it's important to note that these paid features and systems have undergone extensive player testing and have received positive feedback in the Arena Breakout mobile version. This in no way, shape, or form sounds like a no to me, and I'm not sure why everybody else thinks it is. This answer is one of two things. It's either an intentionally evasive answer, or it's simply an answer supplied by someone who clearly has no idea what pay to win actually means. In all honesty, I wish I had actually seen this myself months ago when I was playing. I probably would have stopped right then and there, because if you look at how the in-game economy worked in that closed beta, and you take into consideration the content of this answer, it would have been pretty easy to see exactly what their plan was. Our last ABI video, which looked at all the negative aspects of ABI, we actually went into depth on just how poor the loot and economy felt in the game, and this was even after the development made some improvements to the economy. It's pretty clear now to me that the economy is tuned to encourage real money spending by introducing a sort of scarcity for most of the player base if they can't keep up without grinding. When I look at that statement, I don't really feel like I was bamboozled. I feel like I should have been paying more attention and that this is my own fault for not catching it. Does it seem a little shady? Yeah, it's a politician's answer, but it definitely wasn't an outright lie. Even if they were being evasive, they can just fall back on the varying definitions of what pay to win is within their community. There clearly seems to be a real struggle with exactly how to define it. So after all this and a few days to think about it, despite how much I enjoyed playing ABI, I'm probably never going to put any time into it, which is a shame because it's such a good game. It's not to say that you should or shouldn't, but Hopefully this video helped give you some perspective that will help you make your own informed decision. So what do you think about all this? Why don't you tell me in the comments below? 
Uh, that's all I've got for you guys today. Wipe's coming soon. Got a bunch of content coming out right around wipe day. So be sure to sub and hit that bell if you want to keep up with the channel. See y'all in Escape from Tarkov. Peace out.